killing her. Rain shows up and tries to attack it, but the creature quickly disarms her and knocks her down. The broken freezing ray ejects frosty smoke that distracts the creature while Rain runs back to Andy, but he's too heavy to move. She sees the creature coming after her, so Rain runs away alone and locks the door behind her. The temperature is going down very quickly in this room too, thus Rain puts on a spacesuit to survive. As the creature starts forcing the door open, Rain jumps into the cargo bay and begins to disengage the manual locks, intending to eject the entire bay with the monster. She opens the first three locks very quickly but before she can do the fourth, the creature strikes her down. Rain notices the cocoon nearby and tips it over, letting the acid melt through the floor. Her suit is attached to the ship with a rope so she doesn't float away when she falls, but when she starts climbing back, the creature grabs her head and cracks her helmet. Noticing it's holding onto the bay with its tail, Rain pulls at her rope and opens the last lock, ejecting the whole bay module and sending the monster to its death when it crashes on the rings. The ship is falling too close to the rings and the sensors reactivate the autopilot, so Rain gets to climb back safely before the corbelin flies away. Moments later Rain places Andy's damaged body in a cryopod, removes his module and promises to fix him before entering a pod herself, hoping they'll reach a planet alive. 